Hey guys, this is Elvis. Ah, uh, and it's Prince. My mom, Linda, aka the Gamer Girl, bribed me to tell you that you're watching J Love 81. Yay! Hey everybody, it's your girl J Love 81. What's going on guys? Today, I'm gonna show you some of my pickups for this year, 2020. So, let's get started. All right guys, so I'm gonna try to move through this quickly cause we got quite a few things that I've picked up throughout the months of 2020. Um, I've been backed up with other videos, which is why I haven't been current with my pickups. So, here we go. So, for my first pickup, Plushie hype for my buddy Lady Lacey. Do you nerd? I always think of her with the plushies. I got Bowser. Look how cute he is. Look how cute he is. I just, I love him. He's squishy. So I finally got Bowser. I got Toad. Look how cute. I gotta, you gotta have Toad if you're gonna have a Mario collection. And one of the cutest enemies, Koopa Troopa. Look how cute he is, this little turtle. And look, at he's so soft. I love him. Plushy height, Bullet Bill. Oh my goodness, he's so soft. Look at his eyes. Look at him. He looks like a whale. I love him. So soft. All right, my next pickup, Die Hard Gamer Bros hooked me up, ordered it from Amazon of Japan because North America had pushed the, the release date back. So I got this quite a while ago, the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. I'm having a fun time with the games on here. It really made me appreciate the TurboGrafx-16. I never had an interest to get it, but this made me really want one. I am having a blast. Um, so this is what it looks like compared to the original, thanks to Mega Dan 29. So this is the actual TurboGrafx-16 and this is the mini. Next, I picked up two Ataris and a couple games for the Atari. So these are my first Atari systems. I never owned an Atari because I grew up with the NES and now I do and learn to appreciate it as well. So this is the Sears model Telegames Atari. And I got the wood grain 2600 and some of the games that i got for it are haunted house frogger donkey kong pole position pitfall star raiders Hubert, Baseball, Demon Attack, Combat, so it has the Tank, Tank Pong, Invisible Tank, Biplane, and Jet Fighter, Defender, and Video Pinball, 34 Telegames, so this has interplanetary ballistic missiles and anti-ballistic missiles and in the atari creep sleeve we have pac-man talk about pac-man i have the ghost over there and now i have the light up pac-man which i think is pretty cool and i am a big time pac-man fan so this is pretty cool to have has that 8-bit look to it so I got some figures. Of course, you have to have the evil Dr. Wily. And we have the characters from Mega Man 11. Look how cute. Tanuki Mario, hi. I find this awesome. Listen to this. I don't know, something about this is so neat. Took me back, I grew up with uh, Mega Man, so I like the back in the day Mega Man versus the X series, that's just me. 
As far as my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie collection, I finally got Master Splinter and Shredder, which I think they look pretty cool. So I'm happy to have these two. Who remembers Simon? Yes, this brings me back to my childhood. This, this is as 80s as it's gonna get right now. I mean, I really stink at this game, but seeing this brought back so many memories. So I won a Power Bay for the Nintendo Switch. This is from Brooke. So check them out down in the link in the description below. And I thought this was pretty neat. And what I like about this is it lets you pretty much, I'll open it up for you. I love how this looks. Look how cool this is. It looks like a little GameCube. So you have the HDMI port, the power port, and then you put the switch right here on the dock to charge it. But you can also plug in GameCube controllers, which is pretty neat, as well as USB controllers right there. So I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Squishy high. I love Kirby. He looks like a bowl of bubble gum. And I got two little squishy Kirbys. They look at this. Look at this. Look at Mm, look, squeeze, and they smell like strawberry. I'm not even kidding. So check these out, I got these at GameStop. I also got some Hashbro trophies, Nintendo trophies from my childhood. I lost them as a kid or broke them off. You guys seen some of that on my display in my game room tour. And I now can appreciate them in its original form. So here it is. Now these are pretty, pretty old, straight up from the 80s. There's Bowser holding princess. I mean, I think the look of these are freaking awesome. And then the last one is Mario holding the star and a blooper right on his back. So that's why his face looks like that. I thought that was pretty awesome. These are pretty neat to have. Some handhelds from my childhood from Remco. This is Double Dare. And this is the real Ghostbusters. And you know, they're the typical black and white back in the day, almost like the Tiger Games handhelds, um, but they have a stand, which makes it pretty cool for display. Games from Pack and Sack Day. So check him out in the link in the description below as well. He does hack games. You guys know how I feel about hack games. So the first one we got is from my favorite series, Cobra Kai. So I thought this was pretty neat. So it's an actual NES game. And what it is pretty much is Karate Kid hacked. So definitely a lot harder than the Karate Kid on the NES, but this is pretty cool to have. And you're also playing the role of Johnny Lawrence instead of Daniel. Next up, some Switch games. Of course, I got Animal Crossing when it was released. SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. So the remake of the old school Battle for Bikini Bottom game. Next, Paper Mario Origami King. So I am currently playing this right now. Don't wanna give too much away from my thoughts on it, but it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. Next up, some PS4 games. So we got Prototype Biohazard Bundle. So this has prototype one and two. I thought they were fantastic games on the PS3. So I had to have them both on PS4. The remake of Medieval, Medieval on PS1. This is fantastic. They did a really good job with this as well. Devil May Cry 5. I love the Devil May Cry series. Next up by Limited Run, Indigo Prophecy. So this is the very first Quantic Dream game. I got this on PS2 and limited run re-released the game. So that is pretty neat. And it has some cool stuff in it. Um, besides, it has like a little manual, a cool looking card, limited run. And I don't know, this is like a little news thing. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'll show you some of these. So some of the limited run games, like a limited run little newsletter. So I got myself again, Katamari Damacy. I had this and I love the series. I love this game. This game is a lot of fun. 
Bad Boys, Miami Takedown. I'm a fan of Bad Boys, so why not? Of course, I'm a Jessica Alba fan. I love the series Dark Angel on PS2. This was um, a really good sale. I think it was like three bucks each. And my boy, Dem Guts. We hooked up at Video Games New York back in February, I want to say. And he was sweet enough to get me the bouncer on PS2. And while on the subject at Video Games New York, I picked up a Bowser hat. So the other pickup I got was straight up from Retro Fighters and that is Striker DC Gamepad. This is a new and improved controller for the Dreamcast. So we'll take a look at this. So the one thing you're gonna take notice is that the wire is on top and not the bottom. The bottom felt, I don't know, it just felt weird. Maybe because we're not used to it, it's a little awkward. The controller itself was an awkward controller, but this, this, the way they design the N64 controller, new and improved, I love it. So I am huge on Retro Fighter. So I think this is neat compared to the original. So that's it for my pickups. I highly appreciate you joining me. And I know with this 2020 pandemic going on and a lot of other stuff going on, it's been a little bit hard for me to release pickup videos. So I pretty much bundled everything together and I'm hoping that you guys are staying safe out there. Much love to you guys. Hope we can meet up at a convention someday and don't forget, promote positivity. I'll see you guys later.